Hi everyone, today I wanted to make a little video to talk to you a bit about cool sculpting and the differences between cool sculpting and liposuction and why I believe cool sculpting is now better than liposuction. Most surgeons who do liposuction will tell you that cool sculpting doesn't really work, the results are subtle, it takes a long time to see the results and that you're better off just having surgery. I disagree with this. Since we've introduced cool sculpting to our clinic, the results have been incredible and I actually believe they are better than some of the results that we could have achieved with liposuction. And I say that as the owner of a clinic that offers, or used to offer, liposuction. 20 years ago, it was common for plastic surgeons to offer forehead lift surgery. Now, virtually no one does that invasive procedure because the results of Botox are so good. And it's difficult to justify in major invasive surgery when you can have such an effective non-surgical alternative. I believe in 20 years from now, people will look back at liposuction in the way that we now look back at forehead lift surgery. And I want to show you some of the examples of the results that we have achieved using cool sculpting, so you can see for yourself just how effective this treatment is. The first lady that's on the screen now hated the fat in her back. She had lost weight, but the rolls of fat in the back were, were resistant to diet and exercise. And if she'd gone to see most plastic surgeons, she would have probably been recommended to have a back lift sur surgery, which would have involved making a long scar across the back, um, which would have been a permanent mark left there for the rest of her life. This is her eight weeks after a kill sculpting treatment, a single one-off treatment. I believe this is better than could have been achieved with surgery. This is another patient who hated what he called his dad bot. He went to the gym three or four times a week, but had love handles that were resistant to diet and exercise. The after picture is 12 weeks after a single treatment with cool sculpting. And this is the same man from the front. Again, he had a podge in the belly that was resistant to diet and exercise. 12 weeks after cool sculpting, the fat is significantly reduced and the tummy looks much more toned. This is another lady who hated what she called her bingo wings. She had a lot of excess fat in her upper arms, but was reluctant to have the skin excised with an arm lift surgery, so we treated her with cool sculpting. And this is her a few months later. Again, another lady on the screen now who heated the bulges in the upper and lower tummy before and then three months again after she'd had a single session of cool sculpting. It's not just the body that we can treat either. Another place that cool sculpting works really well is in the neck, and it's a good option for people who want to improve the neck but don't want to have neck surgery. This is a lady before and 12 weeks after having her neck treated. One question that we are often asked is what happens to the loose skin after the fat is removed? As you can see in this example here, the skin seems to get tighter. So now that I've shown you that cool sculpting really does work, I want to explain why it works. So our skin is designed to protect us from the elements and it's resistant to lots of external conditions such as cold temperatures. Our fat cells on the other hand are not designed to withstand such cold temperatures and so the treatment works by cooling the tissues down to a temperature at which the skin can survive but the fat cells can't. So the fat cells then go through a process of programmed cell death and are naturally eliminated from the body. The whole process takes two or three months, so that's how long it takes to see the results. But when those fat cells are gone, they're gone for good, similar to like when you've had liposuction. They're gone and they're not coming back. Because kill sculpting is so effective, there are now a huge number of counterfeit technologies on the market claiming to do the same thing, but they don't. Kill sculpting is protected by over 150 patents that the counterfeit machines simply cannot access. These other machines do not produce the results that kill sculpting do. So if you're going to have this treatment, don't be tempted by the cheaper products. You have to go for a proper kill sculpting um, authorised clinic um, to achieve these kind of results. You may hear some liposuction surgeons dismiss kill sculpting by saying that the results are subtle and not as good as liposuction. But I think if you look at our before and after results, you can see that that's not true. Kill sculpting is a bit like Botox. The technology is really important, but how you use it is equally as important. We have an expert team in the clinic who are now dedicated to performing kill cool sculpting. Kill cool sculpting is what they do all day, every day, and you can see the, the evidence of their expertise and the quality of the results that we are producing with this non-surgical treatment. 
Another criticism that you will often hear from liposuction surgeons is that it takes a long time to see the results of kill sculpting. It can take three months to get your full results. However, with liposuction, it also takes a long time to see your final results. Because of the bruising and the swelling that occurs after surgery, it can take months to go down. And that's before you consider the inconvenience associated with liposuction when you have to wear the compression garments for, two or th for six weeks to three months after surgery, something that you don't have to worry about after uh, kill sculpting. Then with liposuction, there's a risk of lumps, bumps, dents, contour irregularities, things that just don't happen with kill sculpting. The recovery process from kill sculpting is pretty straightforward. You have the treatment done, you go home, you can resume normal activities pretty much straight away. We now have a dedicated cool clinic facility where we have multiple machines on site so we can treat multiple areas simultaneously. You lie on the couch, you read a book, you watch Netflix while our aesthetic practitioners apply the treatment applicators. Afterwards, you may have a little bruising and swelling, but it's usually minor and most people will resume their normal activities, including exercise, immediately after treatment. Then it's just a case of waiting for the fat to disappear. Kill sculpting really is the future of body contouring as far as I'm concerned. If you're considering this procedure, then please come to the clinic and meet one of our doctors who specialise in this treatment. Our doctors begin the process by assessing your body shape, measuring the amount of fat that you have in your problem areas, and then they prescribe a bespoke treatment plan that's tailored to your individual needs and designed to get you to a place where you're happy with your body shape. If you want to get in touch with the clinic, you can do so either by going onto our website at www.drdiamcuan.com or you can go to the App Store and search for Dr. Diane McEwen and Dynamotor app to schedule an appointment for consultation. I hope we get to meet you soon. Thank you.